Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion or want you'd like me to do, feel free to comment down jibbles below. I'll give you a shout out. This is custom shop made by Rick Octavius. Rick Tavius. -T I'm butchering that, but that's okay. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps me out for helping you guys out. This plugin does require a vault. It is a custom GUI shop plugin, which is pretty cool. You just do slash shop and you can see all the different shops that you can do and you can hover over them, what you can buy and sell for and then always go back, take a look, go back. And it has a like a mass selling option to it. So let's get a stack of stone and then you could do slash sell and you can just put them all up in here and it figures out how much money you get for selling all that items. You also can make signs. Now, right now, buying from a sign is broken for some reason, but uh, selling from a sign does work. So we're gonna do sell. So if you're gonna make a buy sign, you're gonna do buy, but we're making a sell sign. So we'll do sell. And then you put whatever shop is on there. So we're gonna do or. See, it says custom shop sign there. So uh, for the sell, sign, sell signs, you don't really need to specify the shop because that sell command is all inclusive, which is pretty fantastic. And then to edit the shops here, you have to do this all in the config, which we'll take a look at in a second. The one thing is you can't modify this top level of the shop, which is unfortunate, but you can modify these second levels all you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at the configs. So here we are in our server. We are running 10.2 as updated today. And uh, for some reason it's not working. I'm not sure why the signs are not working, but we have our custom shop 110. It could be that I'm running 10.2. Maybe if you run 10.0, it'll work for you. Custom shops plugin. From what I can see, 10.2 works. It's just those this buy signs don't seem to be doing their thing. And we can look at the config and the signs. So we're gonna open up the shops and the config and we'll take a look. So here we are in the config. You can change the currency, whatever you want it to look like. And then you have your shop perm if you want to change what that is and your admin perm. So we're going to hop over to the shops.yml. So you can change the name of these bottom shops. Once again, you can change what they look like. I think, I don't believe you could add more shops to this list, which is kind of unfortunate, but pretty straightforward for each item. You have the item ID, the amount of buying, the uh, uh, price for buying, and then the amount to sell, and then if they can sell. So like, if you don't want them to be able to sell any items, just put a negative for the price there. And obviously zero will be the amount. Now you can see this other one, this is a one sell price or a, a per item is going to be two. So you pretty much just go by this string across there and you can change the names in here. And uh, then that shows up in your menu. So it's pretty straightforward, which I really like. Um, it'd be really cool to be able to edit the top level of the shop. But uh, you would modify these for prices of anything you want. And then you can um, add extra lines in there as well. So and then here's the permissions. So if you want uh, a different permission for different shops, so different people have access to different shops, you can do that in here. You could change that, reload your server, and then those will show up. So donors have access to a donor-only shop or whatever it is that you want. So that's pretty slick, and that's about it for the config. Like I said, this plugin really just gets up and goes. Let's jump back. Okay, like I said, real quick and easy shop GUI plugin that just, if you just want a shop GUI and you want something simple, easy to use and can be configured in very, very little time, this is the plugin that you wanna use. So hopefully you found this video helpful, got you really up and going. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.